on to a rising stardom for Ohio State, but a big task in front of him today, facing another European goaltender, Eric Portillo, and the high-flying Michigan Wolverines as they are off from the Ohio State campus. Temporarily burrows himself behind that goal for a little protection. Clean breakout here, Jaden Leslie. Quickly moved out by Michigan, it's Luke Morgan driving the getaway car. Chases down that chip in, but he's blasted into the boards by James Marooney. Kind of a close call there, I thought it was a nice finish to the... Yeah, just the fourth best in the nation, converting just under 30% of the time. They can zip it around. Trust got there, straight away. Simoskevich in front. There's Nick Blankenberg. Back door beats Dobish. Michigan scores on the power play, and they grab the early lead. Now, I just heard the referee announce that this goal is under review for a potential pick. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I was just about to make a comment that they got Nick Blankenberg down almost as a forward. Nick Blankenberg played a lot of forward as a youngster. And we talked to Mel Pearson about that. He looked like he knew what he was doing. He goes to the back door. Mike Pasjoff just kind of slams it across the crease. Nick Blankenberg kind of outbodies a guy. Maybe a kick. That's what they're talking about as a possible. And oh yeah, Nick Blankenberg, eight goals in 15 games. That's why Mel Pearson is telling NHL teams this is a valuable future potential free agent. You might want to take a look at him. There's Dobish down to make the save. You know, they're watching a lot of video, and they didn't probably see that much when they were preparing for this Michigan power play. There's the backhand attempt by Cam Feesing. Lowry holding in. That's whipped wide. Lowry again keeps it in. Taking a stab at it there was Preston. Portillo has it wrapped up. Now Ohio State re-racking at center. Draft choice of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Flings it in, Ryan O'Connell. There, Portillo stumbles right in front. Tate Singleton had a quick look. The spin of the boards here at Value City Arena can be a little tricky. It's his, you know, he's not only played a couple games here, maybe not even last year if he got in game. It's something to watch. Important are the dump-ins for the Buckeyes. Portillo likes to come out. Now just trying to put it all together. He, he is in the plans for the second half of the season. There's Beecher. From his knees gets the shot away and Dobish keeps it out and keeps this a one nothing game. Grant Gabriel the other way, facing the drive. Portillo made the save, couldn't secure the rebound. Things opening up a little bit now. But two Ohio State players trailing him. Veneers, some good fight along the boards and he gets some help. Summers the blast, the rebound along the near wall. There's Veneers again. Truscott looking for an opening, nice move. And Truscott missing the connection in front, but the pressure still put on by Michigan. Hughes holding in. Trelor knows he needs a clear, and it's just lifted out of play. Find a goal on this power play. Yeah, their first power play of the night, trying to match Michigan's production on their first power play. It struggled this year, trying to change that. Reaching back for it, Jake Wise. Again, it's Lowry straight away on this Ohio State power play. Takes a deflection. Jake Wise holding in. Gets it from Lowry. One-timer. Portillo the save. They score the rebound. Georgie Merkula power play goal. Portillo the initial save and just a ton of room on the rebound there for Merkula. Those role players a little bit. Luke Morgan twisting and turning, loses an edge. Opens the door for Marooney to clear it. He's unable to. Sending it in. Jake Wise, a third rounder of the Blackhawks there. Picking it up. Dealing it back to the point. Tree lore the forward. That's off the pad of Portillo. Samoskevich, cool little move there to buy some open ice now rips the low wrist shot Jakob Dobish the stop that he's that good but really smooth and then I love this play he's Sam Scavage. discipline is going to be stressed throughout the night especially considering Michigan scores at a clip of nearly 30 percent with the man advantage they're looking for a rebound 
Under two minutes to go in the period. Slap shot doesn't get through. James Marooney with the block. So Michigan scores first on an early power play goal. The struggling Buckeyes power play, though, converted with their only chance. It's so much easier this year than the challenges of last year. Michigan was a little late coming out for the second period. O'Connell bullied off the puck there by Garrett Van Wy. Van Wy feeding the point. Blankenberg, the shot. Moyle on the rebound. Dobish reaching back. Can't stop it. Nolan Moyle has scored for the sixth time versus Ohio State, and Michigan has the lead. Michigan Wolverines don't waste any time early on. Nick Blankenberg, this is one of the hardest plays for a defenseman to do. A one-time puck up to the comes up the wall and he one times in that puts it on there accurately and then Nolan Moyle battling with O'Connell in front you think Dobish has got it and leads to Michigan now jumping out to a 2-1 lead here in the early moments of the second period now looking for more past the job to Beneers Beneers the one-timer and he kind of wedges it wide Some time and room in Michigan will lift it to center Brisson has it bounce on him. Jimmy Lambert there dropping to Brendan Brisson right in front. That quick shot. Dobish the save. A front skate of Matty Beneers and what a pass by Brendan Brisson. It was Estrapa looking for a second ever collegiate goal there. Big number 94 with the opportunity. Jimmy Lambert off the goal post. With the physical play right now, that could pay dividends later in a game when you put a hit on center ice like that. We'll see if that can equate later on for the Wolverines. There's Lowry. Portillo handles that shot. There to force Eric Cooley to the boards. Nosing around is Tate Singleton. Swung in front by Cooley, and it's gathered in by Eric Portillo as Westland sent that bouncing puck his way. Get it out! Luke Hughes bouncing off of players. That's right in front, looking for the deflection as Estapa was in the vicinity. Another wrist shot coming. Dobish pads it aside. He's not a goal scorer, Moyle, but now six goals during his career versus Ohio State. Loose puck. Opportunity here. Stick handling in. Georgie Merkulov looking for a second of the evening. Fancy stick work. Georgie Merkulov feeling it tonight after getting that goal. A little toe drag to his backhand. It looks like he got a little hook. Murky off the crisp pass. It's low rise straight away. The wrist shot, Portillo the save. Trelor couldn't find the empty spot on the rebound. Low rise keeps it in. That bouncing puck, though, gets by him. Yep, good pressure by the Wolverines there. They saw that Ohio State didn't have a full, complete control. Pass to Jeff shorthanded there. Here's Grant Gabriel. Cheremetta the forward out top. Down low, Quinn Preston shoots. Saved by Portillo. Mason Lowry, the one-timer, coolly patted aside by Eric Portillo. Preston walks, fires, stretching and reaching. Portillo keeps it out. Quinn Preston's had a couple chances here where he can attack or he can pass. He makes the extra move and he puts it off the post. What a play, and it's kind of in the way the season's gone for Quinn Preston makes a great play. Hey, Portillo is a big man. He doesn't give you any room. So what he does is he goes to the far side, makes a move, it goes off the post. Georgie Merkulov. Under three minutes to go in the power play. Low ride a shot. And that's cradled to the chest by Eric Portillo. Low ride returning to Wise. They wanted to slow things down a little bit on the power play as well. That shot Probably going wide, but safely secured by Eric Portillo. Here's Gustav Westland to Cherimetta. Grant Gabriel, little saucer pass. Cherimetta, Portillo looked a little confused, making the save, but the important thing is he kept the puck out. He out competes him on the wall, and then what a tip there. That's another shot pass. You call that the bumper position up there in the high slot. Cherimetta sees Singleton kind of hanging there. 30 seconds to go on the power play. And there's the wrist shot, and Eric Portillo 
no problem wrapping that up for a faceoff. Ethan Edwards cruising in from the point, trying to keep this puck alive in the offensive zone for Michigan. Free saw just won't be stopped, and he finally chisels that just wide of the goal. Wolverines keeping it in. Michigan got a stick on that, so no danger of an icy. Quickly speared ahead. There's Gustav Westland. Problem is, the guy's got some burners there. Blankenberg back. Westland there jabbing at the loose puck. It's Michigan escaping potential danger there. Brisaw, Samuel Skevich, watch out. In shoots. Jakub Dobish, big save there on Samuel Skevich. As we know, Matty Paneers and the Wolverines go the other way. How quick they can make it happen. And Samuel Skevich goes with his backhand and Dobish. Chipped in. Wise is four checking along with Quinn Preston. Kept in. Gabriel, the shot was seven seconds to go in the period, and that's clutch there by Eric Bertilla. Excited for the, his possible future fans of Columbus, Ohio, to see him play. I'm sure he's disappointed. He's unable to attend this weekend's game. But I'm sure there are some fans, some Buckeye fans, that are kind of weird right now. They wanted to root for him also. I, well, and you, you're seeing it, right? With all these guys that came back after being drafted so high, and they wanted to come back. And that's because they are good kids, and they see that they can have some fun in college. The pros will be there for them eventually. There's Blankenberg. She's five foot seven, but doesn't mind getting bumped along the boards. Now the blast coming from the point. Portillo outside of the paint there to make the save, and he'll secure the rebound as Cole McWard unleashed the shot. Luke Hughes looks off that puck, watches Tate Singleton swoop in and pick it up. Now a turnover, pass to Josh, shoots just off of Dobish and out of play. His buddy to work a little harder. Mason Laurie with a, a little bit of a dangerous pass up the middle, goes off of Matty Benier's skate, goes right onto the stick of Michael Passjoff, but Jacob Dobish, look at him get out and attack that puck. It makes it really hard for Pasta to find a spot and he makes a great save to bail out his fellow freshman, Mason Laura. Yeah, it looks like he could be the successor one day to Carey Price and Jake Allen in Montreal, the fifth rounder, Jakob Dobish. Still in the first two minutes here of the third period. Cherimetta, it's been a decent start for Ohio State in this third. Long range shot, that's shouldered away by Portillo. Good hustle by Truscott off the bench to hold in. Dylan Duke checking his options. Luke Hughes, the wrist shot, glove saved by Dobish. Jakob Dobish comes out of his net. He's a very confident guy, man. I was just very pleasant. There's Lowry protecting that puck so well with his big body. Jaden Leslie tosses it down low. Guzzo was there looking for a rebound in front. Portillo is on top of it. Wasn't a clean entry there for Michigan. Minute 15 remaining in this advantage for the Wolverines. Fisi, short-handed, what a move. Fisi, backhand shot, but unfortunately, right into the belly of Eric Pertillo. Guzzo block shot on Manny Beneers, the number one power play guy for the Wolverines with seven of them, puts his body in front of that blistering slap shot. Mike Pastage off, one against three, so just trying to get a shot through to generate a rebound. Slapped in by Jimmy Lambert. Almost six minutes gone in this final period of regulation. Jack Summers up with it for Michigan. Branowitz, puck bouncing everywhere, and it's pinballed wide there by Nolan Moyle. Gabriel tosses it back, Baruni bobbles it. Now the slot shot, ripped wide. Kept in by Gabriel, keeping this attack alive. The one-timer from Sedlocha. Ohio State looking dangerous here. Another big Michigan block. Gabriel scores! Grant Gabriel, the tying goal. These Wolverines, the Buckeyes with great pressure. As you see a couple of times, that one went wide and hit a defender, but a couple more. Portillo with the nice right pad save, but one more time. Thiesi throws it at the net pretty innocently, but then Gabriel gets it past Summers, beats that block shot, and it might have screened. Portillo just a little, might have actually hit Summers, just grazed on him, lifted up just enough. Summers is hurt, you can see that, quite frankly, it blocked some shots. Wasn't able to block that last one. You certainly expect another goal or two in this one in regulation. 
Looks like they're going full bore here. Eric Cooley down the near wall. That was kind of a knuckler, so kind of a challenge for Pertillo to secure that rebound. Jaden Leslie turns and fires it in. Guzzo closes down that wall. Wrist shot coming from the point, changing directions, just bounding off the side of the goal. You gotta love the confidence. If I'm the coach, Team Rollick on the bench, I'm getting a little, getting a little nervous seeing that. But he made the play, and the Buckeyes moved north. Feasting's harmless shot from the boards, easily handled by Eric Portillo. Number 43, Luke Hughes. Good play by the senior from Sweden. Luke Hughes almost turned that puck over. Unable to keep it. Granowitz, though, gets a second crack at it, but Dunlap finds it and lifts it back out to center. Wow, what a sliding effort by Will Rydell, the captain for the Buckeyes. Transfers in this year. Was there on, on campus for two months and named captain. What a leader. Quinn Preston racing the other way. In, shoots it high and wide. They've gotten through for 31 shots on target. Kicked loose by Pastajoff. Luke Morgan will swing in wide, trying to create a rebound. He does! It's Pastajoff, and it's Michigan leading 3-2. As you like to call him earlier, he gets the puck out wide to Morgan, and Morgan just puts it at Dobish's pads, and Pastajoff is there. Enjoying an early lunch while the rest of his teammates were working on skills wondering why he's not putting in extra time Well, he does now and it's been paying off. Here's Michigan looking for another one trying to shove it in and they do Brendan Brisson Just exploding here in the third period and they've got the two goal lead Inside the post but what a turn of events here as the Michigan Wolverines have went back to back as a Brisson just tucks it, just jams away as he tries to pull it out from behind the net as we get a better look here. But he just throws it at the net, puts it off of Dobesh, and it looks as if it's right on the inside as you see the referee looking in. He's got a good look. That puck just trickles over the line. His second effort kind of puts it. Murky Law. One of the goal scorers for Ohio State. It's Tate Singleton back on the point. Will Rydell. Let's go. Low shot by Merkulov. Glove save. Eric Patil Portillo. Wow. They're without a timeout due to an unsuccessful challenge earlier in this game, Ohio State. So going after it here. Getting shots through has been the challenge. It's low ride, kind of quarterbacking. That deflects out of play as well. The Wolverines showed, uh, showed their might in that one. Across the line, Nick Ward, the freshman. 90 seconds to go, down by two. Nothing to lose here. In tight, close look there, Portillo, big save. Wow, <laughs> the rebound doesn't reach Portillo, it's deflected out of play. Number one, and his Watch this play. He does it again. This is a third or fourth time. This time he tries again, go to his far side. And then another block off of Blankenberg's back. You can see him. Oh, my goodness. That could not have felt good. Maybe we'll uh, get to talk to him. But, man, Portillo has had Quinn Preston's number all night. One of the lower spots, I'd say, in, in your body of protection is there, and then maybe above your knee and behind your leg. Final minute. Looking for that back door play. Again, it's Quinn Preston, and then everybody gathers. Yeah, he's had a lot of chances. A great look here. Nice pass. Finding it through, but he corrals it. Look at that. Bats it out of midair. Net is empty. Final 50 seconds. Another clean faceoff win for Ohio State. Low rise shot. Blocked by Blankenberg, so he's okay. It's almost like he's loving the block shots. Now an empty net. Garrett Van Wy puts this one on ice. 5 2 Michigan. Wolverines at the right time made some really good plays as Hughes gets it up the ice and then to Van Wy, who's not going to score an easier one than that. To yeah, Eric Portillo matches a career high in saves, 36 tonight. And it's Michigan. This was a close one coming into the third period, but they pull away for the road victory. Oh.